But I guess the question is, do these skills matter? The skills of being able to read a fact pattern, look through it and scan and spot all of the issues at play, recall the case law you've read in your classes and what they all stand for and apply that law to those facts and write a conclusion about what it means legally. And maybe the argument that says it still matters is that this is foundational and even if machines can do it better than students, it's still a part of forming your ability as a lawyer to be able to understand the law and why your client situation means something in the context of that legal framework. On the other hand, why does it matter? Does it only matter for the development of a lawyer's mind or does it actually have any real value in practice once a machine can actually do this? It does seem to me that we're always going to want to make sure that we're producing new lawyers who understand kind of the architecture of the law. Like what are the sources of law? What's public law? law? What's private law? What are the different like rights and remedies that people have available to them? So like what I think of as the architecture of the law, how does it operate on our lives and on our institutions? Without understanding the architecture, even if you have the super intelligent AI hologram next to you, you won't be able to work well with your AI hologram to help it help you with a client's problem. <music> <laughs>